and one of the most popular units of the National Park System, the Appalachian Trail. You know, for those who haven't been out on the trail, they sometimes wonder, what is it that brings people to the Appalachian Trail? What are the rewards and the benefits and the experiences? And, you know, there are several that I think most people would agree to. And that's, you know, the chance to be out in nature, in the elements, uh, under your own, uh, you know, devices. I mean, there you, you have to carry your pack, you have to negotiate difficult terrain and uh, water crossings and weather and everything else. So there's a challenge element to it. But there's also the benefits of, you know, getting on top of a mountain and seeing the grand sweeping view that you earned by getting there. Uh, chance to see wildlife, chance to uh, have a sense of quiet and peace in the world, particularly here in the east where we have many busy lives and a lot of activity going on off the trail. So it's a respite in some ways from, from that hecticness, even if you're just out for the day. The National Scenic Trail was established through the National Trails Act in 1968. It was an act passed by Congress signed by President Johnson that began to develop a system of trails, recreational trails across the United States. And the Appalachian Trail was designated the nation's first National Scenic Trail. And the idea behind a National Scenic Trail is that it's, it's managed for recreation and scenic values and a protected landscape that makes sure that those values are upheld. And uh, it's, it's as important as any other national park unit. The Appalachian National Scenic Trail has the same standing as Yellowstone, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Acadia, etc. Uh, so we're we're uh, actually approaching an opening here. Uh, we're in the White Mountain National Forest in the Kinsman Range, and we're coming up to an opening where there's a transmission line crossing, and uh, does does provide a view. However, the view is marred by by this development, and. It's somewhat unusual in New Hampshire for there to be a crossing like this 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 far in the backcountry. Uh, there are locations to the south of New England where there's more frequent power line uh, transmission line crossings, but not so much up here. So uh, this is this is fairly unusual for this this part of the AT in in New England or in New Hampshire. <laughs> 